Okay. Uh, I think today's the day I'm going to dye my hair blonde. I have everything I need. Shampoo already came in the mail. I got all the hair dyes that I need to do it. And um, I guess I'm going to film it. So, um, yeah, say goodbye to the black hair. Uh, I'm going to go change my shirt because I don't want to mess this shirt up. And, yeah. I guess the next time you see me, I'll be dyeing my hair. Or, I'll already be blonde. So, hopefully, all goes well. I'm going to dye my hair now. I'm going to do it, but I want to show you what I use. Now, two important things before I do this. I'm not a hairdresser. If you're a person who likes to watch YouTube videos and do exactly what you see on the internet, and then you destroy your hair, and your scalp is fried, and you hate me for no apparent reason, not my fault. Also, this is virgin hair. My hair has not been dyed. It hasn't had anything in it. Also, I have dry scalp, which means it gets really itchy. Yes, it means I get dandruff, but you're going to bleach your hair, and if you have a dry scalp, and if you keep it on too long, be prepared. You will get scabs on your scalp. It'll go away, and that's why I have my trusty Wen after the fact to condition and moisturize and help all that. I don't have a problem with it. If you do, don't do it. It's not like people could see the scabs on your head anyway, because I obviously have hair. I'm not, you know, but you know it's there because you can feel it. Is it painful? It's not painful. Just take care of your scalp. To me, it's not painful. I don't know. Maybe you, if you're a bitch, don't, don't do it. Anyway, these are the things I use. I start off with bleaching kit. Can you see that? It's like Born Blondes, Clairol, nice and easy. You want to get the one that says Maxi. It says, uh, for dark blonde to black hair. I do that. I leave it on for a while. I try to comb it through a little. Not obviously scraping my scalp, but I just want to make sure every strand of hair is covered. I also use a funnel because I find that when you pour the bleach powder into the bottle, it gets everywhere. Also gets in my throat. Don't do it if you don't have a well-ventilated place because, I don't know, I always feel like I, I eat it. This helps me a lot, my little funnel which I still have, I thought I threw away because I haven't been blonde in a while. So I comb it through, I do all that. Keep it in for, use your judgment, use your common sense. But it's bleach, it's gonna destroy your hair regardless. So after that, I wash it out. I don't use the purple shampoo yet. I wash it out. I wait till my hair dries up a little bit or totally, since it's short, it dries really fast. After that, depending on how bleached it gets, or how orange it is because it's gonna, virgin hair or not, it's gonna have to go through the process of orange and brassy shit and it just looks horrible. Again, I don't have a problem walking around the, my town with orange hair. I really don't give a shit. If you do, don't do it. Cause you might have to wait a week in between to bleach it again. By the way, I got two of these boxes just for that purpose, just in case it didn't bleach the way I wanted it to bleach. Now, next, I'm trying to do this fast, sorry if I'm like all over the place talking really fast. After all that, if the bleaching goes the way, if it lifted it as much as I wanted to, then this is my toner, the L'Oreal Blondissimus, Blondissimus, however you say it. I get this in LB01. This turns my hair from whatever the bleach did, and it turns it to the extra light ash blonde. So it's a cooler tone, it says. That's what I want. That's how I want my hair to look, this color. So then I use that. After that, wash it out, yada yada. Then I use the purple shampoo. This is the one I happened to get this time. Don't know how it is because I never used it. I bought this because it was big and it was cheap. So if you're familiar with this brand, then good. If not, I guess I'll let you know if it's good after the fact. But I use that after. After I do all that, this is a long process, I know. After I do all that, I go this bad boy here. When intense, what's the word? Moist intensive hair treatment. This is a hair mask. When hair mask, pretty much. I leave it. I leave this on. Cover everything. Cover my whole scalp, hair, roots of tips. I leave it on for as long as I want doesn't matter. You could leave this on for like a whole friggin day and it's not going to do anything but make your hair wonderful. After I do that, I get back in the shower, rinse it out, and my hair feels like butter. It doesn't feel like shitty straw. 
then I repeat. I might not have to repeat the bleaching, depending, but I'm, I'm going to show you that in the middle anyway, just so you get the idea of it. And then I'm, I'm going to film myself dyeing my hair a little bit, but you know, dyed up gloves and camera. I, I'm not, I'm not down for that. But yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do. That's my process. That's those are things I use. It works for me. Uh, don't don't do it if you have any doubt in anything I just told you. So see you or you see me in a minute. Okay. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to be a blue. You want to make sure there's no chunks in it. See it shake the shit out of it. Like vigorously. Like crazy, okay? Gotta make sure it's smooth. Uh, here it goes. Uh, this is gonna burn like hell, but uh, hopefully all goes well. So I'm probably gonna film me doing a little bit and have it on fast forward or something. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be a bitch to upload and edit. There we go. What I'm doing now is combing everything up. This looks, it doesn't look easy, but it's kind of easy only because my hair is so short. So I don't think if you have long hair and was doing this, combing it up would be an option. I got all this up right here. I've had this in my hair for a while, I'm not going to lie. It burns, it itches, but I got my pair on. So this is what it looks like right after maybe, I don't know how long it's been actually, but whatever. This is what it looks like right now. Still trying to comb up the other side now. Okay, I'm pretty sure I had this in my hair for longer than I'm supposed to, so when I come out of the shower, if my hair doesn't come off in chunks, then I think we're still good. It did burn. It is itchy. I think this is the longest I've ever left it in my hair, so we'll see how that comes out, no pun intended. But um, yeah, I'm going to go wash it out now, and this is how much it got lightened up, and that's without the toner. This is just the bleach. So... Wish me luck. Okay, so this is the, not the final product, but we're going to call this video part one because I still have to tone it and then, you know, just keep up with the purple shampoo. So what I did here, why does my hair look like this right now? I put, um, it's covered in the wind mask. So right now it's, the hair is just soaking up as much moisture as it possibly can. I've had the bleach in for like longer than I've ever done it and I was a little like uh, oh my god my hair is going to fall out but it didn't and I'm not going to lie but this result right here is the best I've ever gotten in any other time I've done it myself and I think it's because I left the bleach in for so long which is dangerous I don't recommend doing that but anyway uh, I took a shower, I rinsed it out, I did use the purple shampoo after, and then after that I just slapped on the mask for my hair. I'm going to leave this in for like, I don't know, for as long as I want. Probably just hang out with it and do some stuff. But um, yeah, as you could see, there's still, I, it could be because it's wet, because it's, it's all matted up right now, but <laughs> I was expecting something more horrible as in black spots or something leopardish but uh it didn't happen that way i'm i'm really very content with uh how this came out i know i'm looking a little m m right now but don't worry i'm not worried about it i still have a lot more to do but i think i'm gonna give my scalp and my hair a break and i'm probably gonna tone it in a few days and we'll see how that goes and i'll film that as well and then i'll give you a final picture or final video of, of how it turned out but all in all I'm pretty happy with it so yeah I had something else to tell you and I forgot 
and it must have not been that important if I forgot but that's pretty much it I'm gonna keep this in um, then I'm gonna wash it out and it's gonna feel not like shit I'm not gonna lie it obviously felt like shit while I was taking a shower after I installed the purple shampoo but that's because it's bleach it's gonna do that so but I pretty much don't care the worst that can happen to me right now is that I have to shave my head again Ooh, big deal but I'm um, pretty happy Eminem is pretty happy so if you like this video give me a thumbs up thumbs down spam hate comment whatever you want check out my facebook page x hot pink punk x at facebook.com i'm pretty sure i'm going to be posting some new blonde pics up there so if you want to see more check that out and uh yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and if you try this good luck to you <laughs>